Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Faced with the strict chip restriction rules of Western countries, China also has its own countermeasures, which is to restrict gallium and germanium starting from chip raw materials. China has decided to implement export control rules for gallium and germanium from August 1st. Prior to this, the United States, the European Union, Japan and other countries and regions were trying their best to ensure the supply of raw materials. Among them, Japan and the European Union suddenly announced that they would build an early warning mechanism for the semiconductor supply chain and share supply and demand data. Foreign Media China's chip production capacity will be destroyed. Western countries, represented by the United States, frequently attack China in the semiconductor field, restricting the development of China's chip industry. Affected by the rules, many Chinese companies cannot conduct business normally, or cannot deploy high-end chip manufacturing based on advanced technology products. Of course, foreign suppliers are not feeling well either. China is the world's largest chip consumer market, and failure to do business normally will cause them to lose huge sales. Without revenue, it is impossible to carry out more advanced technology research and development. As the level of scientific research decreases, the competitiveness of the industry will also weaken, and it is not impossible to eventually decline. Therefore, the chip restriction is an approach that hurts the enemy by 1,000 and hurts itself by 800. What's more, China has already launched practical actions to impose export controls on gallium and germanium. Western countries will have a hard time without China's supply of chip raw materials. After China announced restrictions on gallium and germanium, Japan and the European Union suddenly announced that they would build an early warning mechanism for the semiconductor supply chain and share supply and demand data. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida met with European Council President Michel and European Commission President von der Leyen during his visit to Europe. The talks between the two sides reached a number of joint statements. These include strengthening supply chain cooperation for key materials and reducing external risks for the semiconductor supply chain. Japan and the European Union decided to establish the so-called early warning mechanism after China announced the export control of gallium and germanium. So the high probability is to solve the supply problem of gallium and germanium. So can they do it? This depends on the production and supply methods of gallium and germanium. Although gallium and germanium are rare metals, they are associated products which are byproducts of aluminum and zinc. There are only 220 tons of primary metal gallium in the world, and the rest has to be extracted and refined. China is the world's largest aluminum producer, accounting for 60% of the world's production, and zinc production also accounts for 36% of the world's production. Based on the huge output of aluminum and zinc, it provides a solid foundation for China to build gallium and germanium industry chains and develop waste slag recycling and extraction technologies. Even if other countries have gallium and germanium extraction technology, how do they consume aluminum and zinc? It is impossible to waste a lot of aluminum and zinc just for some gallium and germanium, so it must be supported by a strong industrial system. 
We must know that China's aluminum consumption capacity is very strong, and it is basically impossible to have the problem of aluminum surplus. Taking a step back, even if Western countries spend decades to solve the problem of gallium and germanium, China still has other rare metal trump cards, such as rare earths, magnesium, antimony, tungsten, etc., any one of which can make Western countries feel troubled. The best way for Western countries to solve the problem is to sit down and talk with China. If things develop to this point, the right to speak will no longer be in the hands of Western countries. They must follow China's rules and loosen restrictions on chips or lift the ban on Chinese companies. If you don't agree, you have to bear the guarantee of losing the supply of raw materials. At present, countries and regions such as the United States, the European Union and Japan already have the idea of getting rid of the Chinese supply chain. The European Union calls on aluminum and zinc manufacturers to explore the production of key metals for semiconductor manufacturing. Some foreign media said, China's chip production capacity will be destroyed. In the case of Western countries trying to decouple, China's chip production capacity layout will also be affected. This is actually an important manifestation of the anti-globalization development of semiconductors. Not only China's chip production capacity, but foreign chip suppliers are also uncomfortable. If the globalization of chips cannot be restored, how can China achieve self-sufficiency in chips? This requires strengthening research and development of key technologies, such as chip design, manufacturing and packaging, and improving independent innovation capabilities. Encourage enterprises to increase R&D investment, cultivate and introduce high-level chip R&D talents. And strengthen the research and investment in the chip manufacturing process to improve the accuracy and stability of the manufacturing process. Establish a domestic leading chip manufacturing process platform to reduce costs and improve production capacity and quality. Or establish a complete chip industry chain and strengthen the collaboration between all links. Cultivate and develop related industries, such as material suppliers, equipment manufacturers and packaging and testing companies, to form a complete industrial ecosystem. Achieving self-sufficiency in chips is a long-term process that requires long-term and multifaceted efforts. China has rare metals as its trump card, so it may not be at a disadvantage. With the continuous advancement of technology, it is believed that China's chip industry will usher in a brighter development prospect. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.